by Cassandra Blake. Cassandra Blake? Who is that? Ooh, that's gonna fall. My stack is gonna fall, don't you dare. We're good. Hello everybody, it's your girl Jay, and today I'm here with a pretty big unhaul video. I have around 80... 85 books in my pile that I am going to be getting rid of today because pretty much all of these books except for like five or six are books that I have given 3.5 stars to and one of the rules on my channel is if I give a book three stars or less then I get rid of it but recently I've been thinking that all of these books that I've given 3.5 stars I literally have not touched since I don't talk about them in videos I have not revisited them in the slightest so why have I been keeping them on my shelf and a lot of them I honestly have no idea what they are about I do not remember I read them in like 2015 2016 and my little goldfish brain has no idea what they were about what I liked about them anything like that so we're just we're just unhauling the shelves and making room for new books and the new rule on my channel is that I need to give four stars or higher in order to keep it on my shelves because then I thoroughly enjoyed the book and I will actually remember what it is about so so with that being said I am not going to give reasoning behind why I'm getting rid of these because I literally just explained that to you. If by chance it is a book that there is a separate reason to why I'm getting rid of it because I believe there are six that were in my December wrap-up video that I gave three stars or less that they're getting out. But if I don't mention anything, they're all 3.5 star rating. I tried to kind of put them into like categories of genre just to like, you know, get through it easier. So the first genre that I have is going to be contemporary. I'm literally just going to read the titles and the authors of these books because I honestly don't even remember half of them or who they're by, so let's get started. The first book is Skin by Adrian Maria Vertos. Trigger by Suzanne Vaught. Holding Up the Universe by Jennifer Niven. Reality Boy by A.S. King. Anne and Henry by Don Ewes. Highly Illogical Behavior by John Corey Whaley. More Happy Than Not by Adam Silvera. P.S. I Like You and Listen to Your Heart by Casey West. If I Stay and Where She Went by Gail Foreman. Call Me By My Name by John Ed Bradley. This one is actually kind of funny because I originally thought it was like that book with like the peach scene. You know what I'm talking about? I think it's Call Me By Your Name. When I bought this, I thought it was that book. It's not. Our Chemical Hearts by Crystal Sutherland. Twisted by Lori Hulse Anderson. Star Girl by Jerry Spinelli. I Wish You All the Best by Mason Dever. Is it Dever or Dever? I actually don't know. I think it's like Dever, like Beaver. But again, I don't know. This is kind of an epic love story by Karen Callender. Rules for Being a Girl by Candice Bushnell and Kitty Katingo. Internment by Samira Ahmed. Joyride by Anna Banks. It's Kind of a Funny Story by Ned Vizzini. Be Dazzled by Ryan LaSala. A Little Something Different by Sandy Hall. Dark Horses by Cecily Von Zygar. In the Key of Nira Ghani by Natasha Dean. The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon. George by Alex Gino. When Dimple Met Rishi by Sandhya Menon. Kill the Boy Band by Goldie Moldavsky. And Nerve by G. Ann Ryan. Now moving on to fantasy? Fantasy. Wink Puppy Midnight and Boneless Mercies by April Genevieve Tolchil. The Iron Trial by Holly Black and Cassandra Clare. Fairest by Gail Carson Levine. Next up we're gonna go with, I think, fantasy, paranormal, sci-fi, that kind of vibe. Dead Rules by Randy Russell. Fateful by Claudia Gray. Cold Kiss by Amy Garvey. Dreamland by Robert L. Anderson. The Accident Season by Moira Foley Doyle. Zodiac by Romina Russell. Ready Player One by Ernest Cline. I don't know if this falls into this category, but like, it's going in this one. Berserker by Emmy LeBourne. Genesis Girl by Jennifer Bardsley. Anna Dressed in Blood by Kendare Blake. All Rights Reserved by Gregory Scott Katzels. The Call by Peter O'Greelan. Dark Companion by Marta Acosta. Thorn by Intisar Kanani. Master of One by Jada Jones and Danielle Bennett. And The Magicians by Lev Grossman. Next I'm gonna go with just like general fiction slash, you know, adult romance, adult 
crafty things. First up, I have Surprise Me by Sophie Kinsella. When We Were Vikings by Andrew David McDonald. Water for Elephants by Sarah Gruen. The Rosie Project by Graham Simpson. IQ by Joe Ide. Miss Everything by Jennifer Weiner. Ask Again Yes by Mary Beth Keen. The Perfect Partner by Ursula Le Cour. And The Salt in the Sea by Ruta Sepetis. And now thrillers, which I don't have that many thrillers because I usually rate thrillers pretty highly, but but we got a couple for this unhaul. The first one is Your Life is Mine by Nathan Ripley, Woman on the Edge by Samantha Bailey, A Cure for Madness by Jodie McIsaac. Fun fact, I'm pretty sure this was one of my first books that I won off of Goodreads, so that's kind of cool. The Hand of the Devil by Dean Vincent Carter. The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins. The Innocent Wife by Amy Lloyd. The Perfect Stranger by Megan Miranda. Living Dead Girl by Elizabeth Scott. Broken Things by Lauren Oliver. And Kill Switch by Neil Bayer and Jonathan Green. And then the last five books are the ones that I said were from my December wrap-up and I just gave them three stars or less. So the first one is Displacement by Kiku Hughes. The next one is Phantom Limb by Laura Brown. And then the final three are all part of the same series, which made it onto my worst books of 2021. So they're for sure getting out of here. But they are the Madison Avery series. The first one is Once Dead, Twice Shy. The second is Early to Death, Early to Rise. And the final one is Something Deadly This Way Comes. These are all by Kim Harrison and they need to get the heck off my shelf. All right, everybody. So those were the 80 plus books that I have decided I no longer need on my shelf. I mean, it feels good, but it also feels wrong that I'm getting rid of these many books. But it's good. It's good for me. So let me know down below if you have read any of these books and what you thought of them, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!